Hello, I'm Philip Stoughton for EMS Now. I'm here at SMT in Nuremberg and I'm joined by Torsten Nehemiah from Co Young. Torsten, good to see you again. Thanks for stopping by. Um, we talked for some time over the last year about closed loop. Let's kind of round that off, close that off if you like. Um, what's, the, what's the product been doing in the market? How well has it been accepted? And how's it been working with a number of different uh, print suppliers? Yeah, it's, it's been accepted in the market. It's working very well. Uh, I think that's what it is about. It's not just about the show and mm. demonstrating it here. Uh, we've got a number of solutions in the field. Uh, people are seeing that their process is being homed in and being kept stable. Uh, that's what closed loop is all about. Hands off for the operator, mm. uh, automated correction. Uh, and yes, it, it's proven in the field now. Okay. And I think that's what we wanted to see. That's why we started with the product. Yeah, and in terms of the way they've measured the performance indicators that they've put upon the product, what kind of improvement have they have they said they've seen? Are they are they doing less cleans? Are they doing less adjustment? Yeah, I think because it's a trend detection mm. uh, and uh, an automatic trend correction, uh, you're not seeing as many defects, you're not seeing as many outliers, um, but like you said also the, the number of cleaning instances have reduced, uh, particularly when you have paste offset, uh, it's off the pad, it would lead to solder balls uh, on the board after soldering, so that's where you would want to make sure it is clean before uh, or, or not uh, soldered, mm. so that's why, yes, the reduction of, of actual wiping uh, and cleaning operations is yeah. reduced. Yeah, and it's become so much more of a data-driven business. It's, it's not about go, no-go anymore by any means. It's about communicating. The, the print machines were a natural neighbor to connect yeah. and talk to, but there are other things up and down the line. What's, what's next? Yeah, well, what is next is to, uh, to talk to the uh, placement machines uh, because they're next in line mm. uh, we, we have the feed forward in place uh, talking about uh, paste offset allowing the uh, placement machine to actually place the component into the paste mm. rather than onto the nominal position on the pads uh, which will for the smaller components lead to improved uh, solder conditions less tombstoning and so on and uh, yeah the, the, the line continues we have pre reflow AOI uh, being able to communicate to the placement machine as feedback mm -hmm. uh, about actual placement offset. Yeah. Uh, we have the reflow oven and that's where the, the next project is coming uh, along, uh, talking uh, about profiling, profiling yeah. the oven, integrating that not, uh, not only with the paste, but definitely with a post reflow AOI, uh, which again does measurement, solder volume measurement, uh, and will be able to, to link in and correlate the data. And that's what we're demonstrating yeah. here as well. Uh, intelligent link uh, of all these data sets correlating. And uh, as we are the measurement people, mm. we have not only data, we have uh, 2D and 3D images. Uh, so the operator at the end of the line can look at uh, a paste volume as well as a solder joint volume. Yeah. And I think that's what uh, is, is key here uh, to see cause and effect uh, and have the possibility yeah, and to provide yeah, solution, provide, provide, provide information back. Feed, feedback to the process. And it's not just about the feedback, it's the stored information as well that provides traceability. I know here in Germany, for example, automotive is driving perhaps the traceability desires. Yeah, huge. I mean, traceability is, is key, so everything is recorded to barcodes. Uh, you can recall the data months and, and, and years later uh, to see how much volume was there. And if you have a latent defect, you can still see the volume, um, you know, warning that you had or, or being close to your limits. Mm. And I think that's what is it's all about uh, to over the time, yeah. whether it's a short period of time like the closed loop or if the long period of time getting returns from the field to be able to make adjustments to your process and say, no, it has proven now a year later that that was not sufficient amount of solder volume. We need to adjust our tolerances. Yeah. And that's yeah. what, what is the the ability to, to allow the customer uh, using this, this this massive amount of data mm. in a very intelligent way yeah. uh, and that's that's where we come in and visualize yeah. everything and that requires a, a, a huge amount of communication not just not just in terms of electronic communication but at, at management level and r d level between you suppliers of print machine aoi and your machine's going to appear in a lot of different line configurations are you finding now that the industry really is keen to collaborate and talk together to, to get the best solution for the end user? Well, at the moment, it's, it's more or less time to market, I think, uh, driven by the customers. Mm. 
who are willing to take this on board and, and willing to uh, pay for the solution as well. Um, I think they, they at the moment are asking for one-to-one -one solution. So right. can, can you work with vendor X or Y? Uh, however, yes, I think there will have to be a, a, a standardization, yeah. uh, which will be huge and difficulty yeah. because you're, you're talking every vendor in this business here. Yeah. Um, but yes, and some very big software players that yes, have got to yeah, would, would like come to, together to and exactly bring everybody together on their platform. Mm. Um, yes, we're collaborating with a number of people. Uh, we're collaborating with, with software integrators there as well. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have right to see how, will, uh, how the best will, solution will, will come out. And I can see that there's a there's a clear benefit in terms of in terms of lean manufacturing, which is going to play really strongly here in the German market, where lean has been really a key to being competitive. What about elsewhere in Europe? What about Poland, Italy, the Ukraine, the kind of some of the lower cost environments? Are they are they demanding the same amount of traceability and the same amount of data? Well, in the places where we are in with our measurement solutions, uh, those would be typically the higher end manufacturers in those uh, territories. Uh, yes, we do see that those are coming along, not quite as strongly as, as we do see it here in, in, in you know, Germany, France and so on. Uh, but yes, the automotive people, regardless of where they are, mm. uh, are demanding this. Uh, and, and yes, certainly yeah. other uh, suppliers of, of medical or, or aviation equipment. Um, the same. Yes. Yeah. Or, or we're just getting to the end of, uh, of the kind of spring exhibition season. We're here this week, we're in Shanghai next. Uh, next week we were in um, California a few weeks ago and then we've kind of got this hiatus be before the the big shows of the autumn particularly product yes. this year what are we going to be seeing in terms of new development during that time and new products coming to market maybe in Shenzhen or in, in Munich later this year well we're, we're focusing on the data integration uh, our, our data server between our 3d AOI and the 3d SPI uh, will be fully functional uh, over the summer uh, and will be deployed. So seeing seeing that integrated there, um, as you know, we started with the 3D AOI last year. So that's been you know well had a good acceptance in yeah. the market, and we're we're very busy with it. Uh, installations and sales are going well, and now we we see the customers more and more pushing for this data integration. So yeah. that, that's going to be the the big driver for us, uh, refining the uh, the solutions as well. Um, but at the moment, uh, we, we've got a very stable platform in terms of the shadow-free inspection. Mm. That's always been our mantra, and uh, yeah, we, we keep on perfecting it. Yeah. Uh, the, you know, there's new graphical user interfaces. Yeah. Windows 7 is is the, the the driver because Windows XP is now gone, and people yeah. have to replace those computers in their environment. So those are the, the, yeah. the refinements we're doing. Yeah. Uh, the key is the data integration yeah. and the intelligent Absolutely. linking up of all those data. Yeah, absolutely, it's, it's that constantly listening to the customer, constantly tweaking and, and adding features that they want. Yeah. Yeah. That's the key. Fantastic, Torsten, good luck with the show. I hope you have a good week and thank, thank you, you very for much. stopping by. Philip, always a pleasure to talk to you. Thank you.